Okay, on defense at the start, uh, for a little bit of pressure, I put my pylon here usually. It's a very good spot because you, you just can't see it anywhere else from this side. So it's really good if you want to like sit on top and put some pressure with your team and whatever. Um, after that, just move down. I go back to point and this is a really nice spot usually because uh, you pretty much get the view of everybody here if they start pushing in. If they start pushing in this side, uh, you might just not even put it there because that's too risky. I usually go for this angle and if somebody pushes from here, I just move up over here and just put it here for a better defensive. Well, a little bit more on the side actually, because not too much because you want to heal people still. I need to push push way too much, I just put it here. Because then I can just you know, it still heals from here. So it's a pretty good pile on there. And nobody will touch that unless a tracer comes behind. Um for more pressure, I, I put it here too sometimes. If the light go start going top or to just come out. There's also this spot down here because uh, if they like boop you too much or you get in some kind of in a scenario you just get pushed around here you can just put the pylon here because it heals pretty much everybody and nobody can actually hit this one like uh, you just can't <clears throat> the one on the top I just like it putting like this so it doesn't like pick out on the sides and uh, if you want to just defend on the top, you can just put it there in the middle. And nobody will actually see that one. It's, it's really good. Really good. And you can you cannot shoot through this either, so... It's great. After you lose defense... I think my favorite spot is this one, where you put it here. And it pretty much gets a whole view over here and above when you sit here and you just, you know, want to poke them out a little bit. And nobody actually sees this, so it's, it's really great. Like, even if you go under, like, you really need to push under under it. But usually people don't do that. Another one I'd say is this one, uh, just because it's very safe, but you place this one whenever they cap it, usually, and you have put some kind of freedom still. Because here, uh, they, they really have to push above this thing and just destroy it. Or just come from behind, like a trace or some or something else, because it's very protected. Uh, this is also a very nice spot for when you're defending and th they're pushing on that way. So you can just put it here, and nobody can actually see this one. Another one that sits this one. I wanna put. I like to put it vertically, just because otherwise, from the enemy from there, it can see, if it's like uh, horizontally, they can see and just shoot it through. So if you're defending inside here, it's great. So if you're defending down here, that is a good spot. You just come here, put it on the rock here, and just leave it there. But I usually don't use this spot just because they usually come from above or... I'm almost not even ever playing down here unless I'm getting pushed in very hard or my team is getting pushed. I usually play around here. This spot could also work, but... Because on the, if they if they come on the top, they cannot see it, and uh, it heals you from here. And if you're defending here, it's great. Uh, the only reason that I don't really use this one is because it's very exposed on the bottom right. So I don't know. It's situational, so it can work, but also it's a bit risky. Uh, I think this spot is pretty bad, honestly. I don't, I don't see a reason to ever put Paladin over here, even if you're playing down here. If anything, you just put it here, something like this. I was like put, like putting in back, and just have to like move a centimeter down to get the healing going. It's not worth it to have it like on the open too much, because Paladin is pretty important. Usually, it's very easy to destroy. I guess this is a good spot too. I like putting it there, just because I, I feel like it's pretty hidden sometimes. Like if they push on the top here and you're just getting pushed down here, and they're pushing that up there too, I feel like this is a good spot. Even even though you can like see it here, I guess you could just 
do it like this. It's not. Yeah, that's better. Like they really need to push far away from here, so you cannot have a good angle to shoot them down, down anyways and put pressure on them. Uh, putting it inside is never the move. It was always get destroyed, always. Um, if you're playing here, I guess anything is cool. Like you can just put it here, put it here. Both work. Both have good defensive. Uh, but I think I prefer to actually put it here. Just because I always get, like, you cannot destroy this. Like, it's, it's, you need to push very far in. Otherwise, there's no way. And it just heals everything. Another good spot, I guess, if you're defending, if the payload is here and you're trying to defend, I guess a good spot would be here. Because when you're defending here, putting pylon over there, or over there, over there. It's it's bad because it, they always focus it, so it's just better to have like an extra defensive. Like it heals from here too, so it's, it's really good. And if they want to destroy it, they either have to go from top or really push in. I don't I don't like this one actually, just because it's very easy to destroy. Like you can literally destroy it from here, and uh, I don't know. I just feel like it doesn't last very long here. I I usually like to put this on attack, if anything. If I take an off angle or something like that, but I never put it here. I feel like it's a waste. There's better spots. Also, that's weird positioning. I don't know. Okay, when they push in on third defense, I either put it here at the start, so you just have, you know, you have the pressure going. Pelon is here, it just heals. It's a pretty good spot. If they push in from here, like, you, you don't even see it. You need to, like, I don't even think you can shoot it from here. Like, it's just very hard. But you wouldn't notice people coming here. In anything, you move it back. And uh, I like. I always like putting payloads like in between doors, just because it has the range of heal. And usually people don't have the vision for that. But if they also come from that way, uh, nice spot. I think uh, a nice spot could be here actually. I like that one down there. It doesn't get too much healing, but it helps the backline a lot. So that's great. <laughs> if you're having a lot of issues with pylon. On the fans, you can just put this here. And it's behind the wall, so literally nobody can see this. And it's healing you through here. This whole choke. So it's pretty good, even if you wanna go back down. So it's pretty good actually. Um I grant up High ground pylon, it's kind of a 50 50, I feel like. Especially when they have a Diva Sigma, I feel like it's always gone. Because if anything, I put it here, but even I feel like pylon on the top is just bad. I feel like you could get way better positioning by just putting it here. Like, even this, this pylon here, this is pretty good. I actually never used this one, but. It's pretty good because I'm pretty sure he heals from here too, so it's, it's probably easy to destroy, but as long as they don't go that way, it's really good. Um, if they push too far in from like this side, I guess a good pylon is here because it gets your team here and he heals from here too. So if you want to like take an off angle or something like that with your DPS and stuff, you can just sit here and be safe. If they're pushing in way too much, just put it on top here. Uh, I like to put it on the left board just because they really need to like push out here more. So they like have to risk it. If they push it from here, it's easier for them to just get out, you know. But if they push from here, it's just harder. Alright, this is actually a good spot. You just come here, put it down there. And this pretty much gets everything inside here. If they're like pushing really hard hard and if they go for your pylon just move it back immediately and just depending where you are you just kind of change it up maybe put it down here instead so you can have this whole backline covered and high run here too because it, if they push too much it's never a good idea to just leave the pylon on the front at this start i just like putting it up, up there just because it covers everything it's great. You just push in. And then um, if they're pulling it up there, you just move it here. Always always put it horizontally whenever 
you don't want it to pick out because this is really good because nobody can actually see this one like it's really hidden and it just covers everything i actually don't like putting it here i feel like it's too exposed most of the times even though it's not really exposed but i just don't like it i don't know uh, another one if you're high ground you just put it here honestly it's really good most of the times it never gets destroyed it's kind of crazy another good spot that i like to use is just in between the trees honestly it's good it's kind of hidden like if you if your team is pushing up like from left left side and you want to go right side just put it in the middle so both sides are like covered so if you need help you just still have your pylon and if they need help they have the pylon too and you just you know do your thing here or here and when your team pushes in like uh in the point i like to move it here actually so i'm, I'm still in covered and like it, it just pushes more like i can just stretch it out a little bit maybe take an angle on the high ground if i can and just pressure some people then go back down and i'm still getting healed and once the point is getting capped i like to move it back here um so i can i can heal i can heal everybody in point that's pretty good yeah if you're in the room just put it up here like in the corner okay that's I think I failed that. I failed that so badly. <laughs> you just needed to angle it so that it, it gets your healing here. So I guess it's good. Yeah, it is pretty good actually. You have the healing here, you can just shoot in between. But instead of like sitting in the room, I like to just put it here and be a bit closer too so I can do more damage. On second offense, I just put it above honestly because they're always like sitting between here or there so at the start i just put it randomly there if they're pushing too much i move it on the stair so i can just have i have good angle here and it's healing everything um after that i just put it here if they're if we're pushing on the stair and uh if they're pushing us back i just move it and i just really just put it like here <laughs> if, if only if everybody's on the high ground if some people are on the low ground i just move it in the room honestly i just move it in the room so it can like heal from here and here it doesn't heal here but if it's if they're pushing too hard i don't like putting pale on, on in front of their faces even here is a good spot i guess I, i'm not too happy about this though because there's always a tracer, you know, in the group or Sombra, so that one will go away very fast. And you have no like, there's not really a situation where you will just sit here and counter the tracer or whatever. So I don't like putting that here. Uh, when you pushed in from here, I like to put it here, because um, usually you own the top. But even if you don't own the top, like, it's I think it's still a good spot. Just maybe put it vertical actually, so it doesn't poke too much on that side. That's like a random safe spot for whenever you're pushing very hard. I only use this when I push it really hard, otherwise I don't use it. Uh, I never use this one because from this side, putting that on this tank, um, I feel like it always gets destroyed, so I never put it there. If I'm low ground um, and we're pushing, like, I kind of like putting pylons on top of the frame door, so like, it gets the healing down. Like, it does have some... Because if they're on the high ground here, they don't even see it. Like, you can't, you can't shoot that. But if you're on low ground you, yourself, you get healed. So I guess that's good. Even no offense, this door one is good. Unless they're sitting there and they can see it, but... Usually they never go for this, to be honest. So I like to put it there. I also like to put it up here. Because it's very safe, honestly. Unless they're on high ground and uh, they're on this side. But usually if you're pushed here, nobody's on top there. So it should be fine. It's, it's, up, to, it's up to you, it's situational. You gotta notice where the enemy is and move it accordingly to their position. When you're pushed in, like on here like around here i like to put it back into the room too 
just because they really need to push it. Usually, I, I get a lot, of, a lot of picks by just pylon positioning because they really need to push it. So usually the tank gets fucked and stuff like that. But I like to put it into the room and uh, another one, I guess, will be here. Because it's very defensive and you cannot shoot it down. It, like, even from here, you don't see it unless you come really close to it. Um, and this is pretty good overall because even on the high ground, I'm pretty sure you cannot. Yeah, you just don't see it. You don't, yeah, that's probably the best spot if you're playing low ground and you're pushing in this far. This spot here, it's situational. It's it's good if you like if they're playing there, but usually like they're defending the point. So putting pylon there is pretty bad. It's gonna get destroyed by the tank. I mean, I guess a good pylon would be here if you're like pushing low ground with somebody else. This, this is actually very, <laughs> this is a pretty annoying spot actually, because just because it's very hard to notice. You just notice by the healing that's come coming. <laughs> Well, even that you need to really push it too, and <laughs> this is a dirty spot. Uh, on third offensive, um, honestly, <laughs> I just put it on top. I don't put much thought into it if I'm just starting off the push. You just put it on top randomly, it heals well here. And when you're pushed in more, I just like to put it in the room. It's always the room, man. It's, I always like to put it in the room. It's because it's a, people cannot destroy that. Like, there's no way for an enemy to destroy that shit. Like, I'm, I'm not that like, you need. You really need to be just here and just fucking try to destroy this shit. <laughs> like, so yeah, I like the rooms. When they're pushed in down there, I like to just move it here. It's not that safe, but usually, like, it, they only get destroyed if they really push. And try to get it off. Well, if you play in the room, you just put it in the room, honestly. Not much thought on that. I don't really go high ground on this map much. I don't really go. But if you really want to go high ground, just put it down here. If you're really high ground and they're just defending there, and you want to get some pressure done, you just shoot them down from here. This Fallon will heal you and heal the people down there. It doesn't heal too much on low ground, but. It does get the job done if you're here. So it's pretty good for backline. For tank is a bit meh, but it's fine. I usually don't use pylon for tank mainly. I use it for my DPS and stuff. If they're defending there and you want to sit back a little bit, you just put your pylon here. It is a very good spot. Um, it usually ne never gets down just because they really need to be very pushy about it and just kind of steamroll your team to like be able to come all over here and destroy this pylon. Usually gets ignored even if they push me. Um, another good spot, I guess it'd be this one, if they're defending here. Because I actually kill a lot of tanks by just baiting them with my pylon. They noticed that it was down here, so they would just come here and just try to destroy it. But <laughs> while doing that, they always died. So <laughs> I think it's a pretty good spot for bait. Um, but yeah, this is pretty good actually. And once you're inside, uh, honestly, <laughs> I honestly don't like to put it inside. I just leave it like here. Um, probably you wanna put it here though, because otherwise they can see it when they get out of spawn. They only can see it if they come this way. But if anything, you just, if you wanna have a, like a very safe pylon, you just put it down here, honestly. Uh, that's bad positioning, bad. <laughs> you just put it down there. And that kinda helps you. Like, um, if they're like on the last checkpoint, they, they will not like go as far as getting a good end goal to destroy that. <laughs> 